Hello and welcome to another Ixalan draft here on YouTube. My name is Ethan, also known as Lord Tupperware. Um, I have not been doing super well in this format. I just came off a long stream today of uh, a lot of one twos and a couple two ones. Um, so I'm interested to try and, and shake things up. And I just read a very interesting article on Channel Fireball about uh, a blue white control deck which I'm going to try out and, and hedge here. I think maybe like I might think that Otapek Huntmaster is a stronger card or Contract Killing or Unfriendly Fire are where I want to be. But I'm going to grab Air Elemental here and, and try try out this uh, blue-white or blue-green control treasure deck if I can. Um, if not, no biggie. But I also have found that uh, that blue is underdrafted a little bit. So not not mad about starting out with an Air Elemental there. Um, follow up here with a pious interdiction. I think a removal spell and life gain is important for what this deck is trying to do, if I understand it correctly. Um, I also want to try and draft this deck if it does happen to be a real deck in the format before uh, the word gets out on this article, because I think it was uh, just came out uh, a few few seconds ago. Um, for those wondering, this is about what, two weeks? A little, little less than two weeks into the draft format being live online. Um, so aggro is king. Seems like blue-green merfolk and uh, white-black vampires have emerged as a couple of the strongest decks. Though you can also get a really good pirates deck and a really good dinos deck for sure. And some, you know, a green-black explorer deck or white-blue tempo deck. But I'm going to try this, try this control deck here. Uh, probably... Pious Interdiction would be my vote as the best card in the pack, though Horncrest and Deathless Ancient, and actually Fathom Fleet Firebrand are all really strong picks as well. All right, well, there's a Lurking Choop, which I really do like. Probably a little too uh, in love with the old Chupacabra there. Um, but I probably just want to grab Bright Reprisal. Um, as another removal spell with Pious Interdiction. Feels like blue's going to have s ways to hold up mana and, and not get totally blown out if it can't do something with the with the five mana with Bright Reprisal, with a Bounce Spell or Card Draw or something like that. Otherwise, I could grab Siren Lookout here, but I really do want to try this deck out, and, uh, and I'd like to not look back. I mean, we could have had two Hunt Masters and like a Bonded Horncrest. That would be good, but let's just let's just try this deck out. Oh yeah, life gain and let's get some dinos. I can get down with that. Um, maybe I'm just supposed to grab Bishop's Soldier though. Like, how many dinosaurs are we actually gonna get in white in a white base deck that isn't like a white blue base deck? That is probably not a ton. So I'm just gonna grab Bishop's Soldier here. It does seem like what this deck wants, and uh, maybe we won't get to end up being blue unfortunately if it's not open. Um, but we got a nice start for a white deck for sure, so I'll just grab the Bishop Soldier. Alright, well I think I want the Aegisaur. I'm not sure how good that card is going to be in this um, deck. My other option is like Pirate's Prize. Feels like I should just keep cutting white if it's open to me. And now I'm just going to grab Sailor of Means. That's exactly the card. Like, I think you want as many of these as you can in this deck. Just like it blocks great and makes treasure so you can ramp and splash. So I'll just do that. All right, so far I'm pretty happy with uh, with where I'm at with these cards. Um, opt versus Water Trap Weaver. Feels like I probably just want Opt. Eh, Water Trap Weaver's got to be better. Never mind. Almost leveled myself there. Uh, there's a Dreadmaw and an Ixali's Keeper. Favorable wins could end up being good if we're blue-white, but not looking like it will be right now. I think I just take a Dreadmaw? What if we wheel that, uh, that one-drop white guy that likes dinosaurs? Which we could. I mean, the card is not very strong. Yeah, I'm just going to grab Dreadmaw here. All right, we wield a Siren Lookout, which is great. Uh, I would like a Cancel, probably, but I'll just take Siren Lookout here. Grab a Cancel now. I do not like Legion's Judgment, and the dude who wrote this article said you want at least one Cancel in these kinds of decks. So, 
It also feels like it get, lets us continue to cut blue, which is nice. Another late Colossal Dreadmaw. I'll grab another Cancel. Though I'm going to want a lot more Treasure Makers before I think about Cancel Numero Dos in the deck. Uh, sure, Field of Ruin for the board. Pirate's Prize Wheeling. All right, so it does, with the, the amount of, like I was thinking the blue got cut on us, but I don't think it did. I think we are going to be okay. I don't think anyone else is looking to draft this particular kind of deck. So I guess the benefits of this deck are if any bombs are opened, which sounds like you might want to start by getting those cards opened first rather than moving in the way I did. But I mean, Air Elemental is very strong, near bomb-like in this format. But the idea is that most people are drafting aggressive decks and uh, they're not going to be splashing around for good bombs or trying to cast six drops and seven drops that you definitely want to cast because you're playing a lot of treasures. So I'm going to grab Air Elemental here. Really need a lot more Sailor of Means and more two drops for sure to make this deck good. But uh, I don't think there's anything else, anything here I'm really missing out on by taking Air Elemental. All right, cool. Another Odepec Hunt Master. I've had three of these. That's crazy. Snap up Inspiring Cleric. Um, Raptor Companion's good, but like this sort of is a two drop in that it's going to gain you four life, so it's going to gain you some life back from tempo you may have lost from not playing a two drop and then gain you life and, and trade off with something. So Inspiring Cleric has really, really impressed me and I think is exactly what this kind of deck wants. Well, we've already got two air elementals, so I'm actually going to grab the Pious Interdiction rather than the Glorifier of Dusk here. Um, Pirate's Prize and Depths, fine cards as well, but another removal spell sounds good to me. Pretty happy so far. I mean, Bellowing Aegisaur, not really on theme. Maybe even Siren Lookout is not super on theme. But the rest seems good. More two drops, please. And more Sailor of Means, please. But this looks like a deck I can pilot. A problem I've been having is I just, I'm not very good at evaluating cards in aggro formats. So I don't really know, like, when something is good or not. You know, or like, when I should be taking a two drop over a removal spell or vice versa and uh it's been it's been a, a tricky road for me to navigate well I like shining aerosaur but again we already have two air elementals maybe I could grab a pounce here I mean I've got some big stuff and pounce is really nice with the aegisaur if uh if I do have that around I don't really want pterodon knight I could see grabbing dive down here as well another nice thing to have to cast off of a treasure. Yeah, I'll probably just grab Dive Down here. It's a little early for it, but... Ooh, speaking of Dive Down, Sheltering Light. Um, yeah, I'm going to take that over uh, Shaper Apprentice, which is almost always just going to be a 2-mana two 2-1. Two which maybe I just want in this deck. <sighs> Ooh, well... We don't have a ton of things that make treasures yet, so maybe I'm just supposed to take, like, Pirate's Prize, but... Not missing out on a ton by not grabbing Pirate's Prize number two, I don't think. Let me let me consult this this little chart over here. Yeah, I don't think I'm missing out on a ton by not grabbing this. So let's see. We'll see how it works out. It'd be cute if that uh, ended up being a thing on stream. Well, Dead Eye Tracker is also a thing we could uh, splash for, because you don't you don't really want this early game anyway, and I don't want Sunrise Seeker. So sure. Ooh, another Sailor, heck yes, that's exactly what I want over Skyblade Legion. And now I'll get grab a Skyblade Legion. I think these two may be questionable, not quite on theme, but the rest of this deck does seem good. I mean, if we got the Deadeye Plunderer, Shorekeeper might be good in this deck, I'm not sure. I forget that we have another cancel. Ooh, another Pirate's Prize, yeah. Ashes of the Abhorrent is not really a card. Pterodon Knight, not really a card that we're interested in. I already have stuff that blows up land. I'll take a Blinding Fog. The real problem with these packs is, like, I mean, the, the power level of this set is low, and you're just getting so many clunkers in, like, picks 9 through 14. <laughs> such a ooh, priest numero dos potentially 
Then again, we've got no dinos. I mean, I've got the Aegisaur if I want it. I could have a Dreadmaw if I want it. I could grab an unclaimed territory, which could help to, like, fix mana for, you know, that this is a human. Like, we could name humans or something, or soldier, maybe. Hmm. Could take territory. Kind of like taking priest here. Like, I've got a couple dinos I could play. And I could try and grab some more. This does seem, like, really sweet if uh, if you have it early. Like, a Shining Aerosaur would be nice. I think I'm going to nab this here. could also see wanting a New Horizons in this deck. I'm going to grab Priest and see what, what the turn brings. And the turn brings us a Hammer Skull and a Bishop Soldier. Well, this is a Dino, which makes Priest good. But I think I just want the 2-mana two 2-2 two, two lifelink rather than Hammer Skull. Hammer Skull does not seem right in this deck. Now, maybe I'm not quite as control. No, I still just want the 2-drop. I still just want the 2. Like, uh, now, now I'll grab Hammer Skull. Over. And there's four blue cards here. We're not going to see any bombs, it's looking like. So we might just be blue-white tempo skies, which is also just fine. Grab the Hammer Skull. Another Hammer Skull? Am I just blue-white aggro accidentally? No! Grab another Hammer Skull. And probably now I can play Priest and play Aeros Aegisaur. And... What? Like, now I could, I could not play these Sailors, and I could play this Lookout. And I could play Pterodon Knight. I like Looter. Over Sailor. Ah, Sailor's gotta be so good, though. Sailor's so good. With Revel and Riches. Revel and Riches. Um, no, I'll just take Looter. Hammer Skull number three. All right, we're just an aggro deck. God, what a bummer. Just trying to draft something sweet and you just get like a good deck accidentally. Does that ever happen to you? People are probably so mad that I'm like bummed about this triple Hammer Skull deck. Um... Skyblade could be bad. Grab another Sailor, I guess. Nice, we got another Aerosaur. That's good. Like, just random 2-mana 1-3 seems kind of bad to me. Make one more cut. Probably dive down. Oh, I actually hate having one cancel in the deck. Yeah, because I've got Sheltering Light, which is kind of like Dive Down. Okay. So we go like 10-7 Plains Islands, and we have five Dinos for Pterodon Knight and Priest. That seems pretty cool. All right. Well, this does seem like the deck. I don't have to play the Aegisaur. Like, I could just play Skyblade instead. But I think with Priest and Knight, we're going to want another Dino, even though this isn't, like, absurd in our deck. I do wish we had a one with the wind, but what can you do? Late Deathless Ancient. I'll grab a Demystify for the board. Fire Cannon Blast is not... Or not Fire Cannon Blast. Um, oh, gosh. That cannon that just went by. That has like a... It's like Beleaguered Cannon or something like that. It's not, not a very good card. Okay. 
another pirate's prize, and another looter. Well, now I think we want the looter. Ooh, and a depths. Hmm. Oh, and a zeal. Wow, there's some really good pickups there at the end. Well, now I think I will pass on the cancel. And I might pass on the Aegisaur. Is that a really, and then maybe I do want depths over like lookout. Cutting another creature seems bad to me. Maybe I don't want depths. I just have no, I don't have any bounce, but it's that that effect is so good with like double hammer skull and the interdictions. But I have the I have the two interdictions. Maybe I'm screwing myself over with this priest. Gosh, it's not a phrase that I wished had been sound bitten, but there it is. Um, I think I do want the, t the, the two looters. Nice to be able to have raid on turn one if we play priest on turn one. It's just like this... I'm never cracking this to go find an Aerosaur, am I? I guess the fact this is like a second copy of Aerosaur, a second copy of Hammer Skull late isn't bad. Like on turn four, this is bad. It's like good early. It's good in my opener and it's good as a top deck. But maybe I would just rather have Cancel or Depths, but then I'm like a 15... Creature aggro deck. They don't want a pirate's prize. But then I do worry about running out of gas. I'm going to play the two prizes. I'm going to play the priest. I'm going to play Siren Lookout. It's an evasive threat. I'm just going to run it like this and go 10. I think 10 7 is what we decided, right? Yeah. 10 7 seems right. And I will see everybody for match one.